Hey girl, welcome to a new vlog. So today I wanna do something a little bit different. I feel like you've been watching my vlogs and you're just watching my life, which I appreciate you to appreciate you for that. Don't get it wrong, but I kind of feel guilty because I wanna give you something as well. So I'm trying to make my vlogs more beneficial or drop gems or give you something in the video. So today's vlog, I'm showing you how I'm being productive while adjusting to being a full-time influencer because sis it's really been an adjustment really has been an adjustment so that's what we're doing today before we get into the video you already know what i'm about to say to you please make sure you like the video give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment on what you currently doing are you being productive look i ain't judging because sometimes i only being productive it's life Make sure you share this video as well. Share it to somebody that you think needs tips on being productive, that likes this type of content. Share it, share it, share it. And then most importantly, if you are not subscribed to my channel, sis, please make sure you subscribe. We got things we trying to get accomplished around here, numbers and goals we trying to meet. Everything I just told you is considered to be engagement. And when YouTube see you engaged, and guess what they do? They push the video to other people because they see that it's good content because you engaging and that helps the channel to grow. And that's what we need over here, sis. So right now it's like, oh, it's 10 o'clock, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. So right now it's 10 o'clock. I got all my morning stuff done. I took my kids to school, they're out of the house, so now it's time for me to start my day. Number one thing with being productive is prepping the day before. Whatever you tend to forget, do it the night before or set some type of reminder. So at night, I pick out my outfit, I pick out my kids' outfit, um, I clean a little bit, I declutter a little bit, just so going into my next day, it's that much easier. I also make like a folks to-do list because when I get up in the morning, I readjust that to-do list. So that's what we're about to do right now. Let me screen record so y'all can see what I'm doing. Now, before I turn on the screen recording, sis, don't judge me. This is kind of sloppy as far as the handwriting, but it is what it is. All right. So, I told y'all about this app. It is called Good Notes. So, I just opened up a blank Good Notes page and I made me a today a to-do list for today. And I separated in between work and personal. So, as you can see, on the work side, we got to add tags to a YouTube video because I have a video coming out today. And I got to add tags to the description already did the thumbnail last night i gotta do six reactions for facebook um i do reaction reels people like to see me react to other people reels they find it entertaining so i gotta do six of those for facebook gotta package two orders edit uh any footage that i have because for some reason i'm a footage hoarder i have memory cards of footage that has not been posted so i want to empty my memory cards like how the girls be like just empty in my drafts i want to empty my memory card memory cards so we're going to look at footage and see what we can put together. I got to make a cooking reel. But the cooking reel I want to make today is kind of like a prank on my husband and my kids. So I can't do that later. I can't do that now. I usually like to get my recording done before they get out of school and before traffic and stuff start getting busy. Anything that I got to do out of the house or any recording that can't have no background noise, I like to get it done early while the kids are at school and before I leave out of the house. So today that is not the case because it's a cooking video where I serve them a frozen dinner in a bag pretty much and act like I cooked it. But the company that made the dinner, they season their food so good. So I think they're going to believe I cooked it. We're going to see. We're going to see. So stay tuned. I don't know if I'm going to post that video. It's going to be a reel, but it's also going to be a video. Um, my husband started a channel, That Damn Darius, so I'll link it down below so y'all can follow him. So I don't know if I'm going to post that on his channel or over here. We'll see, but that's being recorded. And then on the personal side, I got to go to the gym and cancel my membership. I pay $50 a month and don't go to the gym. I specifically wanted that membership for the sauna, but the the ride that I got to take to the gym is so much freaking traffic. Like, I just don't even want to go. <clears throat> I'm going to cut corners and save some coins and just go to the gym in my subdivision and that's free. So we got to go cancel that gym membership. We got returns to do at Best Buy, Sheen, Home Goods, and at Home Goods I want to check for some pantry containers. We got to clean the kitchen. I got to do my son Darian's hair and then I want to go over budgeting with y'all in this video. We're going to see if we get there, we get there. If not, it'll be another video. And then I kind of just 
gave the blog a name and talked about the and just wrote down pros and cons so I can remember to talk about that. But this is a brief outline of my day, a brief outline of this video. So I go back and basically list these in order, which I already did that. They're already in order, in order that I want to get things done. So number one for work, we need to add tags to, to the video. And that needs to be done before I leave out of the house. So... Before I leave out of the house, we doing the tags, we doing the reaction, we packaging the order, um, and that's it. And then we're going to go and do the personal stuff and come back and do the cooking real, real. So being productive is all about knowing what you got to do so that you get it done and you don't get overwhelmed. Usually before I started writing stuff down, I would get overwhelmed on the thought of just starting the day like I got so much to do today. But with having it written down, you see like I only have six work things and six personal things, which to me is not a lot. But seeing that on paper, I don't feel overwhelmed and I have a map on where I'm going. So by the end of the day, I need to be done hit all those locations I'm going before the end of the day. So number one, make a to-do list, write things down write things down don't procrastinate when you're supposed to do some shit do it don't wait till tomorrow next week next 10 minutes uh-uh get it done so with that being said the first thing we need to do is add these tags to the video i'm about to show y'all how i do that and i use i ain't gonna tell y'all i just realized my summer right on my sofa oh i'm gonna tell on him but um I use the app called VidIQ. I'm just gonna screen record on this as well and then put it over the video. So to add my tags, I go to my most recent video, which is this vlog, and I basically just scroll down and then I copy the last set of tags that I use and I eventually paste them to the newest video but I also review them and remove any tags that don't apply. And then I also update them to add more tags that does apply. With my videos, this channel, I, I wanna keep it pretty much clean and organized. So I'm creating playlists to make things easy to find and make the channel easy to navigate across. So this playlist is gonna be for the monthly favorites. I plan to do this once a month. So you all would be able to go back and reference prior favorite videos if you ever need to or if you want to find any products that I mentioned. So with vidIQ, it allows you to boost your videos, which they say gets you more views. I don't know how true it is, but I'm going to give them a little couple coins because I'm trying to get this channel monetized. So it lets you know how well you will rank with certain words and um, it comes up with a number at the end. That's what's highlighted in blue. So the higher the number, the better because you're more likely to get views. So I recently found out about another app, I believe it's called Google Trends, that I wanna start implementing to find keywords as well, because that's more beneficial because it allow your videos to pop up on Google along with YouTube. We all know they're really one in the same thing, but if you can rank in SEO in Google, then you winning, honey, your, your video is gonna get a lot of views. So that's my goal. And that's why I'm trying to get my vlogs a little bit more organized because I feel like I deserve everything I'm coming for. You know, I'm here for it. I've been on YouTube for a long time. So I do everything I can do to maximize my views because getting a low view count could be discouraging as a creator slash influencer. So once I post my videos, I, for the most part, log off and try not to look at the numbers, although it could be tempting. So I'm just playing with different tags here. I'm going to continue to do that and then save the video and set it for a time to premiere. Everything else is pretty much self-explanatory so i'm gonna speed it up or go to the next scene if y'all have any questions about the youtube process definitely drop 
questions down below in the comments because I would love to create a YouTube series on how to start a channel, how to maintain a channel, different things like that because I want y'all to go on this journey with me and I want y'all to get these extra coins in y'all pocket too. Everybody should have a channel if you're just living life and ain't we all doing that? We, we're all doing it. So now that I have the tags entered that I came up with off the top of my head by pulling them from my title, now I'm going to copy the tags from the last vlog. And as you can see right there, I have 674 characters and we're only allowed to have 500 total. So I'm just going through and removing the tags that doesn't apply to this video. Now that we have the tags done, I'm just going to scroll through and finish filling out as much information as I can. I'm entering my location. In my mind, all these things matter as to who's going to see your video, where it's going to be recommended. So I fill out as much as I can. Okay, we're looking pretty good. So you can see I have about a 64.5 fit IQ score. So the closer you are to 100, the better. Typically, videos average at about a 50. So I'm somewhere in between that. I go ahead and add cards and then also the end screen cards to my video as well. Just because I know me as a viewer, that keeps me in a loop when I'm watching people channel. And that's what I want y'all to do. Go to the next vlog. Go to the last vlog. Go to the first vlog. Stay on my channel and watch all the vlogs. <laughs> so that's the point of that. Now with vidIQ, they do have a feature that allows you to get title recommendations. And then also they... Uh, come up with keywords that should be in your description box. So that's what you see me adding here to the description box. Um, everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. You have the links, address, and different things like that. But everything in your description box is going to help you basically be recommended or pop up when people are searching things like I know I come up a lot when people search black girl vlogs because that's one of the tags that I put there and me personally I watch black girl vlogs so and that's what I search for so whenever that term's used or search my video will pop up so I'm in the same spot that y'all left me I'm done with what I had to do it took me an hour to do that it's 11 30 now I believe when I last spoke to y'all it was 10 30 so just to do a brief recap on what i just did um everybody thinks uploading a video to youtube is just uploading a video to youtube i like to maximize my earning potential so i do a lot of extra stuff that some people don't do i went ahead and added tags to my videos which is what you see me doing initially and tags are words that are associated with the videos that you want to come up under when people search but it's not in your title necessarily I put certain keywords in my title, description box, and tags. So I added my tags. I did my description box. I added all my links to the products that were mentioned. And then I also updated my title. The software that I use to find my tags, I do pay for it. Some people do it for free. They just make up stuff off the top of their head. I don't like that personally just because I might be making up something that people ain't searching. So um, I use an app. Or a software called vidIQ. You can use it on your dis desktop as well. And it'll give you um, tags. It'll tell you how you'll rank with the tags. And then it'll also help you with your title. Usually I don't use it for the title. But the title that they gave me today sounded a lot better than the one that I made up. And so initially I was thinking about titling the video March 2023 Favorite Things. And then I listed the type of products I was talking about. So like feminine hygiene, tech, self-care, and weight loss. The title that they recommended, mind you, I put a little bit of tweak on it, was March 2023 Favorites That'll Change Your Life. And then they listed the types so like feminine hygiene, vlogger tech, and weight loss. Just off of that first part of the, the video, me personally, I would click on it because what is you about to tell me, sis, that it's going to change my life? I want to know what you're about to tell me that's going to change my life. So I went ahead and updated the title as well to use what they put. Shout out to Louisiana to Texas. She's another OG subscriber. She just commented because I premiere my videos. So I schedule it the time it's going to be released. 
uh, just to keep a schedule. So I'm usually done ahead of time. Like right now, this video has been done since yesterday, but I'm not releasing it until today at six o'clock. And with the premiere, it pops up on the timelines on YouTube, like when y'all first open y'all phones and whatnot. And it's on the homepage to let you know this video is about to premiere. So Louisiana to Texas just uh, commented. She like notification gang. I'll be there. Sis, I love that for me. I love that. Thank you, sis. Thank you. It'd be the small things like that that actually keep me going on being productive. It's not always easy and you got to look for things to motivate you. And really and truly, y'all motivate me. YouTube is where it all started for me and I'm obsessed with perfecting the craft and getting my channel where I know it can be and where I want it to be. So y'all know, uh, y'all motivate me. So the fact she just left that comment, in my mind, it was a sign. Get your ass up and move to your next task. So the next, next task that we about to do is film some Facebook reactions. And really all I do is scroll through TikTok and find videos that I truly find entertaining. Like if a video pop up on my timeline and I don't like it, I just keep going. I react to videos that I truly find entertaining and then I post it on Facebook. And my Facebook followers love to see my reaction. So I need to do six of those right now. Hopefully I'm logged into TikTok on my iPad. But believe it or not, reactions made me the most money that I've ever made in life. That's how I make money on Facebook. Like, I post other content on Facebook, but Facebook is really just for my reactions. And I really have two Facebook profiles. I have a profile just for reactions. That's the one that's over, like, 300,000 followers. And then I have my real, real personal girl community. And that one is, like, at 17 to 20K. So that one is called Being Grace. So it basically has the same concept of this channel. It's geared towards women. And then my big page where I just post whatever, that's called Curvy Grace. But let me do these reactions and I'll be right back with y'all. You know, I'm sorry to keep putting y'all on. Well, for y'all ain't really even being on hold. You about to go to the next scene. Let me do these reactions. Bitches want you to compete with them so bad. Bitch, it's you against you, and you still losing. Leave me the fuck alone. Bitches want you to compete with them so bad. <laughs> Bitch, it's you against you, and you still losing. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> hey, man. Y'all just heard what she just said. That's hilarious. But with this, I do feel like this is a funny TikTok to react to. But I try to keep my reaction TikToks on the clean end because Facebook is the most sensitive platform I've ever been on. They blocked me and restricted me one month and I lost freaking $17,000 because of their ass. But they blocked me for saying, um, you crazy, B-I-H-H. -H. I used six H's to be exact and they said it was offensive because I called the girl the B word. We say bit all the time like sis. I mean, it's just a terminology nowadays. So with this one, since she actually said the whole word B-I-T-C-H, I ain't even gonna fool with her, but this was a this was a good tip. See, in my mind, I wouldn't have thought to even use the tape to do that. That's why I love TikTok. TikTok keep you informed and updated, but he really did a good job. Just that simple. Giving my opinion on the video. And some may look at it in a negative way. Some may look at it in a positive way. But I really don't give a damn because I'm getting paid. Look, what in no way I made a way. Call my lane, I paved the way. Drew it up nice. I'm so we're about to package orders. I have two orders, as I already mentioned. My um, desk is a little bit of a mess. I still ain't put that stuff up from when I did the favorite videos. Don't judge me, but it is what it is. So I recently found out how to print my packaging slip. If y'all can see it, I don't wanna show y'all people information, but the packaging slip is basically on this side. The packaging slip is on this side. And then the invoice or the shipping printout of what you ordered is on this side. So in that way, I don't have to use two separate sheets of paper. So 
I got a paper cutter. This is what it looks like. And I cut that bit right down the middle. So we're on the way to drop off the packages along with the Best Buy return. I bought my son Darian some Oculus replacement controllers, at least I thought I bought it. But when the package came, it only had like the back cover of the controllers and then like a headpiece. It was not at all what I ordered. Maybe I should have read the description a little better, but looking at the, I ordered based on the picture. So i seen oculus controller and then the picture showing the things that i needed so i thought i ordered the right thing but i was wrong so that's getting returned and then the two orders from the store is getting shipped out and then we're headed to um home goods and at home i didn't realize that i had two sets of pictures to return literally 300 dollars in pictures i'm returning that is so stupid now that i'm thinking about it like it's accumulated i'm like i really spent 300 dollars on wild pictures like come on that was stupid <laughs> so we gotta return those and then we kind of just going from there today has been a productive day for me i've gotten a lot done um another thing with being productive is having the ability to multitask because 24 hours in one day seems like a lot i look kind of dark y'all i'm sorry I'm on the other, the new camera. Let's see if I turn this down, that makes me darker. Turn this up. Ooh, we're learning. Turn it down a little more because it's getting very much ashy. One and a half. Ooh, one. Yeah, that's good. But, um, yeah, you have to have the ability to multitask. Like, I do not everything because certain shit you just need to do by yourself but for the most part i have i'm very good at multitasking so i get more than one thing done because if you think about it even using something as simple as cooking as an example last night i cook brown stew chicken thighs macaroni and cheese and spanish rice if i had waited for each one of those dishes to get done i would have been cooking all day instead of doing that i put on whatever would take the longest first and then I'm multitask in between each item. So everything was done within two and a half hours versus taking like five hours. So yeah, y'all got to learn how to multitask and that's going to help you be more productive as well. I really wish that they had drive through package drop offs. Hold on now. I don't got no stop sign. Slow y'all ass down. But I really wish they had, um, drive through drop off because even just simply pulling up at this partial post office that's inside the gas station the line don't be long but i just don't be feeling like getting out the car come on dude that ain't even no parking spot what was i thinking <sighs> nor you is not about to hang out the window i'm gonna leave y'all in the car with nor while i go in here now the question is where the hell is the keys oh keys in the car because the car turned on okay here we go oh girl you don't have to move watch how she be crying y'all when i leave out this car and i leave her in the car with the AC on and I just lock it.
y'all. She was in here cutting up. <laughs> I bet she was in here cutting up. One package is actually, is actually UPS, so I got to stop there. So, like, this receipt, it don't look like y'all can see it. Okay, here we go. It's focusing. So, you see the total balance says zero. I hope y'all can see it because it looked blurry on the viewfinder for me. But the balance says zero, and I'm still about to scan it in the Fetch Rewards, and they still give me points. They paying me just to scan receipts. I don't even got to buy nothing. Make sure y'all click the link down below in my description box, and y'all sign up for the Fetch Reward app. <sighs> y'all, we making progress. My first return went smoothly. I ended up getting back 150.48. So now I feel like I need to go buy something to eat because I'm hungry I ain't ate all day I ain't ate all day and I don't want the stuff that I'm about to cook for them I kind of want to try this little hack that I just seen on TikTok it was like if you order a double cheeseburger and tell them you want it like a Mac they basically make it like a Big Mac except that middle bun which is cool with me because that's less carbs so right now I can definitely snack on one of those. Just the burger, no fries, no nothing, and something to drink. So after I go to Home Goods, I think that's gonna be our next stop. So I just scanned my return receipt into Fetch Rewards and I got points for that as well. It's hotter than a mother love out here. The lady inside of at home that was doing my return, first of all, they only got one line. And that one line you're supposed to check out and do return. So it was a few people ahead of me. Then finally, I said something. And they had somebody, another cashier, come and handle my situation. Because, baby, I ain't got all day. And the one that was originally standing there, she was loud and monotone. I don't like talking to monotone people. Like, it's very exhausting for me. I'm a very fast-paced, clear-cut, dry person. And when you, like hi how can i help you today if you don't get that shit out <laughs> speed that up <laughs> oh i'm right by the damn gym that i wanted to cancel the membership so let me run in here and do this i completely forgot about it until i seen the gym that wasn't nothing but god y'all look at what i got on these people not looking at me crazy walking in this gym where's this lady going <laughs> to cancel that membership <laughs> Um, I don't find it useful because I live way and it's a lot of traffic, so I just don't come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you tried coming to like some of our classes and stuff? Sometimes that gets people back in the system when, they're, when they haven't come. On. I don't like classes. I just want to walk on the treadmill. <laughs> that was quick and extremely painless. I don't like when I go to cancel some shit and I know it's their job because I worked in sales like sales was my first job I was in it for nine years and I know when somebody's supposed to cancel you supposed to find the need and sell to the need that's what they always used to say at my old job and come up with rebuttals for their uh, objections so he like y'all want to come at a different no 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 <laughs> I don't want to know I want to cancel this uh, I don't want nothing you got to say to me cancel it <laughs> so I got my little $50 back each month I didn't even realize there was a term on the damn contract either what's the closest McDonald's to me I need a McDonald's with a short line I don't know why McDonald's always be swinging no matter what time you go to McDonald's 2pm or 2am same line same damn line <laughs> see this is why I don't like coming to this gym all this traffic just for me to get back home stupid okay our next stop is at home i'm going to at home to return two pictures hopefully everything goes smoothly because one of the pictures tags is messed up and i bought it like that so hopefully it's not an issue with me making a return clearly the picture was already returned so we're going to take that back and then one of my upcoming projects and vlogs is going to be a pantry reorganization because I feel like I have a huge pantry but the space is not effective how they put the racks in. So I want to organize it and add some more stuff 
one of the things I need for that project is going to be the organization containers because my kids uh, rip cereal boxes and leave it really and truly not leave it but the, the way that they open it they can't close it back so the cereal gets stale they be leaving noodles open just careless so I feel like those containers is going to bring organizations to the kids and then also to the pantry I'm hungry and I'm feeling real patty-ish so I'm gonna see y'all at home goods so good news bad news just leaving out of this place so this purchase, I didn't have a receipt and she claimed they don't do the phone number system because at home I didn't have a receipt and they do the phone number system. So I was able to get cash back and no problems at all. Come here, they claim because I don't got no receipt, they got to give me what it's currently going for, not what I paid for it. So those pictures I paid like $80 each, yo, was $79.99 each. And then, whew, shit is hot going on here oh that's my lock that just popped off but anyways i paid like 80 dollars each so i was like 160 and she's talking about she can't do nothing but give me what we're what they're currently selling it for so i'm like even if the price is on the product she's talking about without a receipt i can give you what's currently going for like she basically repeated the same thing so i responded like all you had to do was say yes thank you i'll take that I don't like what, to me, she was getting sarcastic or smart. I don't like when people try to dumb you down like that. All you had to do was say was yes. I asked you a question to confirm because I don't work here. I don't know y'all policies. So I did go over because when I first got in there, they made me wait, had to get a manager. So I went over and looked to the organization section while the manager was handling her business and they didn't have what I need. I found... Shit, I look crazy. Let me take my hair down. <laughs> I found the containers that I want on Amazon. I found it on Amazon, but they like $40 for everything. And I knew I had seen them in Home Goods. So I just wanted to check here to see if I can find them cheaper. But now I know I can't. I'm just going to put it on, um, whatchamacallit? I'm just going to order it off of Amazon. And that situation could have very well just been me because I'm hungry. So I ain't thinking too much into it. But I still felt some type of way that you repeated the same shit you just said to me when I asked you a question. Like, I heard you the first time. I'm not slow. Y'all, look at this foolery. This is the line. Wrap. This person right here can't even get out. So I'm going to reverse my little bottom and head the chicken filet because I already know. I already know Chick-fil-A gonna be quick with it even if the line that long. We ended up at Zaxby's when it all goes wrong and I don't know what I wanna eat or can't get what I wanna eat, just give me a Zaxby's salad. I don't know if I wanna get a regular fry house salad or if I wanna get that sensation and sensational. Is it sensational? I don't know, I might be making it up, but they got like an Asian salad with coleslaw, tortillas, Egg, uh, egg roll come with it or if I just want to get like a house salad I'm trying to pick well as long as they taking it's going to be time for me to go get the kids and I wanted to eat my little food before I got them I ain't want to share with them and I ain't want to buy them no food I wanted them to eat what was at the house I got my food but I'm not going to show it to y'all because I already showed y'all this salad I'm about to inhale oh shoot I'm wasting salad dressing I'm about to inhale this damn salad and then go pick my kids up. I got everything I needed to get done outside of the house done. So kudos to me. Once I pick up the kids, it's time to feed them and do my in-house stuff. So. Mm. My sisters be thinking that I'm so gritty for doing this. Trying to hurry up and eat before I get my kids. My kids will literally take this whole salad. And bust it down. With no questions asked. And not worry about what mama gonna eat. So. I ain't ate all day. They don't have breakfast. They had lunch. They doing better than me. Cheers. 
So I just made it home. Well, I've been made at home. Just cleaned my kitchen. And for me, when I clean, I like to light a candle. The candle is like the end of a sentence. That means the cleaning is done, now you enjoy. So the candle I'm about to light is Fresh Linen by DW Home. It smells so good. I paid $20 at, look like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. This is one of my last candles I gotta re-up. What size is this? 25.4 ounces. So I'm about to light this. And then we got some packages to open. I feel like I know what's in one of these boxes and I've been waiting on it. I really hope it's what I think it is. I don't want to tell y'all and it don't be that. So let's see. Oh, and I also bought this because everybody's hyping it up. Let me smell it one more time before I tell y'all what I think. It's what I think. <laughs> the hype is real. It smells so good. And I feel like I'm obsessed with sage. Lately, I've been obsessed with sage. Because I have a floor, a wood floor cleaner that has sage and mint in it. And it's the Method brand, I believe, from Target. Chef's Kiss. So this does smell good. I feel like I would want to use this for a bubble bath. It's giving very much fancy, very much expensive. And it's not. It's from Target. It looks like it's some type of designer fragrance body wash to go with a perfume. It does smell masculine though. I love masculine scents, so. Whew. Try it out. It might be a man's body wash. That might be why it smells masculine. I don't know y'all, but I ain't about to spend too much time on it. I like it. I haven't used it yet, so I don't know what the suds is like. So that could be a potential deal breaker for me. Whew. All right, so we got these few boxes. Do I have anything else? Is there any other packages in the house? There isn't any more. <sighs> ah, shit. I just knocked myself out damn near. So I believe these are new packaging. These. This is new packaging for the sunglasses. Let me bend the camera down so y'all can open this with me. But I got tired of seeing my sunglasses wrapped up in styrofoam. I know when I buy glasses from other places, it usually comes with a case, at least a cleaning rack for the lenses. So I'm like, I gotta set my game up. I can't be out here shipping to my girls it's just generic basic packaging. So this particular one is not what I expected. This is, and sorry my head cut off, but this is some items that I restocked. The On the Island set, it's a two piece set. I'll insert the reel so y'all can see it. And when I make that reel, it's sold out. I think it's only one small left, left which is always my last size left but it sold out, so I restocked them. I got a total of 10 pieces, I believe. No, it's 12 pieces, four larges, four mediums, four smalls. What I don't like about this particular vendor that I ordered from with these is that I can't select my sizes. Some vendors will let me customize my package and when they do that, I just get one small because I don't sell a lot of smalls. And then from there, I'll get equal amounts of mediums, and equal amounts of larges, and then a few extra larges. But my sizes that sell out quick is medium and large. Especially since I wear large, like off the dripper, one is coming out the package. Cause like I always tell y'all, I wear my stuff. I don't have a store just to make a profit. Like I have a store so I don't got to buy clothes. <laughs> the profit is a plus, but I don't like buying stuff. Okay, this is another restock. Mm -hmm. I want my packaging to come. So this dress sold out as well. I'll put a picture up, but this is pretty much the print. It's a um, flowy sundress, and you know we're coming in the spring. So that one finally just sold out. That one didn't sell out immediately 
because I got that when we were going into winter. So I sat on that one for a little bit, but now we're coming into spring. It seemed like it, they all sold at one time. So I restocked that as well. Those are all the packages. I feel like I got everything I wanted to get done as far as priority stuff. Let me get my iPad. Let me get my glasses. All right, so the only thing left for me to do, oh, I didn't even tell y'all, I did do the reel of the frozen dinner prank on my son. My youngest one ain't want to participate. He's so wishy-washy, and Darius is still asleep because he worked nights last night, and he ain't got, came home till 7 this morning, and he got to be back to work tonight at 7. So I ain't want to bother him. But we did our tax for the YouTube video. We did our reactions for Facebook. We packaged our orders. We did the cooking reel. We canceled the gym membership. We did our returns. We cleaned the kitchen. There's, as far as editing footage, I'm gonna do that when I get off the camera with y'all. I feel like I've already shown y'all a part of the YouTube upload process. So I'll show y'all editing in another video. So I'll just put a pin next to it. Stick a pin, we're gonna come back to it. Um, Darian retwist. I ain't doing that today, sis. That's probably gonna be Sunday. If it wasn't today, that's the next. We're gonna do that in another vlog because that's a little bit extensive. I wanna say we're gonna start off the next vlog doing the budget sheet because this is gonna be for my April budget. Technically, my May because I'm a month ahead on all my stuff. So it's gonna be for. It's gonna be titled April budget, my spending during the month of April. So we're gonna start off the next video doing that. But all in all, I feel like today was a productive day. What do y'all think? Drop a comment down below and let me know. Um, We've got to the end of the vlog. Uh, it ain't really much anything left for me to do. Derek's about to go to work. I'm about to continue to work. I gotta edit a vlog and then I have a vlog being released. Um, I feel like I'm adjusting pretty well to being a full-time influencer content creator stay-at-home mom whatever you want to call it i feel like i'm adjusting to not working a corporate job pretty well at first i did have some anxiety because i felt like i always needed to be doing something during the hours of eight to five but that's starting to wean off like it's not as bad as the first day uh like the first day the, my first official day of not working so I am enjoying it. Things are getting better as I get into a routine. Now, what I can say is I spent a lot more time work working. I'm, I'm going to put air quotes because it doesn't feel like work because it's something that I love to do. This is what I want to do. So I spend a lot more time now than I did on a regular 40 hour job, but I also make a lot more money. And then also I get a lot more freedom. Like, I wake up as I please. If I go to sleep and I wake up tomorrow till one o'clock because I'm hungover, who gonna check me? Y'all ain't even gonna know until the next vlog to check me. So, ain't nobody gonna check me. Me and y'all gonna laugh about it on the next vlog. So, I'm definitely enjoying it. We're at the end of the vlog. I don't wanna ramble too much. I hope this vlog was enjoyable. Drop a comment down below and let me know what y'all think about the type of format that I did today. Like, centered everything around being productive versus just winging it and taking it a minute at a time let me know how you felt about today's vlog did you enjoy it give the video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and then also y'all already know what i'm telling y'all thank you so much for watching today i always gotta thank y'all because y'all could have been anywhere in the world anywhere in the world but y'all here with me and for that i appreciate y'all so i'll see y'all in the next vlog What? What you thought I said? You come running in here like I said I'm about to do something or go somewhere. Where's your bow? Where's your bow? You took out both of the bows? You took out both of the bows, Schnookum? I'm not about to play with you. I got stuff to do. Ma'am. <laughs>